Lunch break. Saying without getting the uh, the background, you know, people saying stuff, man. Welcome to another edition of Lunch Break. I'm your host, Christian Knight, and now I'm gonna put you down right here. I don't want to press button, but I'm staying. Um, and tell you, thank you, thank you, everyone, for for coming to the live and joining. Uh, I greatly appreciate you guys, definitely for for tuning in. Um, it's the whole reason why I do this, because if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be doing this. Hey, Emily, what up? Um, you know, you guys are the ones that, that give me the, the inspiration and the push to do these shows. Because, um, you know, we're already literally on episode 85. Season 4, people. Season 4, episode 7. But 85, literally, we've done 85 episodes so far. So, thank you, everybody, for, you know, um, basically for your support and love that you guys get to the show. But definitely so. So thank you once again for coming on here and joining us on another episode of Lunch Break. The show that brings you the many foods that you can make basically anywhere in the world. Doesn't matter where you if you have a kitchen, if you're at, <coughs> um, at work, in a dorm, in a classroom, in a box, you can make food. Doesn't matter what it is. Okay? You can make it happen. Even if it's a fried egg on a car or whatever you can come up with. Okay? You can do it. So, thank you once again, everybody, for, for, for literally joining in. Um, and also, we're the number one show that brings social media interaction all in one place. Because, listen, there, there's shows that put Texas at the bottom and provide... No, 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 this is live. You guys are live with me, and I read your comments, I put it on there, and you guys get the shout-out. I don't get the shout-out. You guys get the shout-out. And yes, I know you guys are, are looking at me. Hey, babe, what up? I know you guys are looking at me, and I'm like, wait a second, where's my attire? Listen, it is hot as hell today, and um, yeah, I know my, my wife is going to kill me for wearing this, but yeah, I'm wearing the apron version of the show today, as you can see, because it's literally hot. Um, <laughs> no, 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 no. See, I knew Melissa was going to say that. <laughs> Listen, it's too hot to wear that today, at least. At least for today, you know, because I don't have the AC running, and it's a little hot, so you guys are going to have to just see me... We're bare necessities, pretty much. So, um, yeah, so to bring you up to speed today, um, so this way we can just cut into the <clears throat> meat and potatoes. Haha, -ha, puns, right? Puns, puns. Because well, that's, that's what we're making today. So, where are we going to be making meat and potatoes today? <laughs> um, but actually, uh, for a little bit of knowledge drop, and it blew my mind on all of this because there's like two big knowledge drops for these things because. I was like, what? So yeah, so we're making meat and potatoes. So to give you a bit of knowledge based on the meat and potatoes, the origins of it was actually, uh, it came from um, a dish that was basically steak frites or frites, which is steak fries. Um, so uh, back in the olden days, I don't know what year it is, because there's like two different uh, variations of this. <laughs> Turn the AC on. <laughs> That's from my wife. Um, they used to actually give out steak with fries. You know, so that's basically what they used to do all the time when you went to a restaurant uh, back in the uh, the 19th century. Uh, that's, that's what they would serve, steak, steak and fries. So it got to the point where, you know, it was the French who did it and it was a simple dish of just beef steak alongside strips of deep fried potatoes, right? And then it can be traced back all the way from France, Belgium, and the main the mainstream really, cuisine of this is that it actually originated in both of those countries. But a lot of other countries adopted it and did something to it. So the dish can also be found in like French style bistros, restaurants, all around the world. And steak fries, basically that was its name, has many variations uh, with different types of sauces, customs of steak, and the seasoning. But here's where it changed. And it, it, it was a mind blown for me. Um, in the 19th century, 
it got changed to meat and potatoes because of the fact that people were substituting the steak or the fries for other things. So they basically called it meat and potatoes uh, during the 19th century because they would give you either steak with fries, steak with potatoes, <coughs> which were still fries, or you know, fries come from potatoes, uh, mashed potatoes with ground beef, mashed potatoes uh, with burgers. So they, they, they did different combinations. So what ended up happening is that they changed it to just meat and potatoes. Um, and that's just basically what's been ever since. So <laughs> it's a basic, basic, basic recipe. That's what they ended up doing. So that's why they incorporated the different meats of doing the same thing with potatoes. But the, the fries part actually, hey Jonna, um, the fries part actually stayed with their name and they, they literally called it steak fries. So they stayed because that's basically what they were served with the steaks and back then it was the steak and fries for meat and potatoes. Or you because they're fries, see? See, so that's why they, they just said, you know what, let's just make it basic and we're going to call it meat and potatoes. Right into it. So, without further ado, <laughs> let's get into the meat and potatoes. <laughs> um, so for today, we're going to be using uh, ground turkey for our <clears throat> meat portion. Um, and to save time, because like, you know, because you got to do this at work or wherever you want to do you want to make it quick and fast. Instead of using a regular potato, which you have to cut up or you put them in slices, or even if you get the can and they're already prepared in the can, or you get mashed potatoes, doesn't matter. Whatever you want to do this with, it's all up to you. Um, what I'm going to be using, instead of this potato that's here that I have to peel, and you guys have to wait for me to cut it and take out the can and stuff like that, no, 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 no. we're going to save time. We are going to be using hash browns. Yeah, that's right, hash browns. Because this is already shredded up potatoes. Mm -hmm. See? Save you time right there. Hash browns right there. And it's defrosted, by the way. That defrosted some. Um, so, hash browns. See? All right, thank you. All right? And then, of course, like I said before, we're going to be using ground turkey for our <coughs> meat part. No, nobody? Okay. <laughs> um, and then we're going to add some different ingredients to this, to, to the mix. Um, so, this way, during that time, I'll let you guys know to grab a pen and start writing these down. But you are all welcome to basically put whatever ingredients that makes your dish delicious. Because everybody's dish is delicious. I don't care what you say. Even if it's bad, I'm gonna think I'm gonna say it's good because it's good. Because it took the effort to make it, and I'm never gonna deny somebody's food. Okay? Okay. Alright. So the first thing we're gonna do is wash my hands. Because you know. You gotta make sure you clean your hands and wash it. Alright, so the second thing that I'm gonna do is actually I'm gonna cut up some scallion onions. I already cut up the minced garlic for you. Yeah, right. Look at that. It's already feed that. Yeah. So this way you don't have to wait for that part. But I actually wanted to cut up the uh, scallion onions. Make sure you use cold water for this. You don't wanna end up is I like the, the noise that, and the uh, pleasantries that this brings. It sounds really satisfying. So I'm gonna just like that. So I'm gonna cut it in half. Put them to side for a second. And then I'm just gonna cut these. You know, you know to at least an uh, eighth of an inch. No, is it eighth or a quarter inch? One of those two. I can't remember which one. Just cut it so they can look like almost like little tiny squares. Like that, like that. Yeah, like that. You see it? You see it? You see it? You see it? Okay. Thank you. Which, by the way, scallion. You know, I had a very interesting question. I wonder if anybody can answer that. Is scallion onions the same as green onions? I want to know that. Oh, what happened here? Babe said, sprinkle some vinegar and salt on sweet potato fries. Oh, so good. <laughs> hey, listen, like I said, you can always replace whatever part of the recipe you can't have or you can't tolerate or you actually don't like and put it in your own taste. Listen, you're the one that's going to end up eating it towards the end, right? 
talking about food, people. Talking about food. Yes, I know. I, I, the bigger cutting board is being preoccupied at the moment, so that's why I'm using this one. Alright. So that's all done. So we'll put that in this container. So this way we can use it when we're ready. Alright. That's all set. And that's it. No more cutting. Time to cook it. Sweet, sweet and savory. <laughs> I believe so. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? Alright, so we're gonna use this big pot to make our meat and potatoes. And of course, we're gonna side this also with some jasmine rice on the side. I know it's a lot of starch, but I'm not giving that much rice to you. It just decoration is I'm gonna eat it all anyway so. so yeah so we're gonna start this up and of course I already took out some canola oil because you can, listen you can use olive oil if you want but like I said every single dish has its own savory uh, style so for this one we're gonna use some canola oil alright I'm just gonna put enough to coat the pan so in this way when I put the actual uh, ground beef in it or ground turkey um, it has something to cook with and not stick to. Um, if you had a microwave safe bowl, you could do the same, just put a container lid on top. So in this way you can cook it in there and you're ready to go. Alright. Uh, so let's get our ground turkey and begin the process of getting burned alive in the music. Oh look, it didn't do it. Oh, and of course, you know, we gotta use a certain tool that uh, Babe provided us. And I'm gonna switch you guys this way for the Instagram so they can see what we're doing. Um, Cause, uh, you know, we have one for lunch break at work. And this tool is so cool. This helps everything get divided and mashed easily. There you go. Nice. Alright. We're gonna use this to take some of this off. Alright, because we wanted that to get mashed a little bit easier and then I'm gonna put so basically I'm using two cups of um, canola oil. So I had already one in there. I'm gonna put a little bit more. There you go. I'm only gonna use about two for the whole thing. Um, Cause these have our, their own uh, natural um, natural oils and they'll start to cook. Uh, but while before it starts to get prepared for that, it still needs something to cook with. So then I'm gonna put the lid on top and allow that to start to cook. So while that's cooking, the next thing we're gonna do is that we're gonna start to season our, um, our ground turkey. Sorry, just some of this water. Uh, we're gonna season our ground turkey before we put in the hash browns. Um, so in this way, the hash browns also get the seasoning portion of the mix and they all taste the same. How about that? All right? So we're gonna let that heat up a little bit. Uh, just remember also, while you're doing this, um, if you were doing it at work, you don't have to worry about uh, stirring it. Uh, just put the increments uh, for every two minutes, um, check it, then stir it, and then put it back in. So basically, you're gonna put it in the microwave for about eight minutes, so with two intervals in each. And that should give you enough, plenty of time to do what you need to do. Especially with the hash browns and everything. So Because you wanna make sure 
that when you cook any type of meat, <laughs> um, that it cooks thoroughly. <laughs> and don't expect ground turkey to turn brown because it won't. You know, ground turkey won't turn brown. It'll turn like a pale brown uh, in a way, in a sense. Um, so don't expect it to turn brown as ground beef does. Um, because even chicken, I think uh, ground chicken turns the same as this, right? I think. If I remember. If I recall. Alright. Look at that. Mmm. Who wants some of this already? I know I don't. <laughs> and this is the meat. <laughs> this is just the protein portion. How about that? Can I say that? Protein portion? Instead of saying the, the other word. <laughs> even though it's the meat and potatoes. <laughs> Oh, then we got interrupted on there. So yeah, so we got that going. Um, so we're gonna start adding our seasoning. So the first thing we're gonna add into this is that minced garlic that I told you about. Okay. So we're gonna add the minced garlic. Add it to our mix of the ground turkey. Make sure you put all oh, the garlic in there. Don't leave any garlic left behind. Alright, let's start mixing the garlic in. Okay. Next, you're going to add in some adobo seasoning. Now mind you, at this part, um, you can mix this however way you season your own uh, stuff. Because this is basically, you know, for you <laughs> to enjoy. <laughs> so, I'm, this is just the mix that I'm adding. So get, grab that pan. All I added was adobo seasoning. Right? So you add a double seasoning into this about, you know, like a tablespoon to a teaspoon, depending on your own taste buds. Uh, the next thing we're going to add is cilantro. Okay? This is another thing that's going to make your ground beef or your meat products. Hey, I said, spoke hello. I haven't seen you in a long time. Um, we'll make your food pop. Uh, so the same, give it a nice dash of this. Cilantro goes a long way. Some garlic powder, even though you put in some minced garlic. Because you can never have enough garlic. Okay. Some onion powder. Nope. Some black pepper. Okay. Some salt to taste. Because you might need a little more salt later uh, for when you put in the hand pumps. So we'll put that to the side. And the last dry ingredient is some chives. Alright, now give that all a nice mix. Just add this to a mixture and then make burgers out of it. What do you guys say? Yeah? You think that would be good? Just take all of this, put it into the uh, the raw <laughs> ground ground uh, turkey, um, and then make them into burgers. What do you say about that? You think that that's a good idea? I think that's a good idea. I would do that. No. You put the lid back on there. Let that simmer. All right. So once you've done all that. Put the mixtures in. Uh, the last thing that you have to add is the scallion onions that we cut up, of course, we have it right here. Um, and then we're gonna put it into this, put the, the remainder of the oil after. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> we seem to have any connection issues. Um, can't even about that. Uh, not at the moment, anyway. So, all right, so the last thing we did is that we added the minced garlic and the seasoning, dry seasoning. Put the salt to the side, um, and then now we're gonna add in. Oh, and by the way, my wife is there. <laughs> uh, we're gonna add in our scallion onions to this. There you go. Make sure you don't leave no scallion onions left behind. All right, and this will be the last thing that needs to be added to this mix before we add in the hash brown. Right. 
Now, like I said, the last thing that we need to add into this is the hash browns. So we're gonna allow that to run up and mix with the ground turkey that's in here. Uh, and then, we're gonna add a last bit of olive oil and a little bit of salt. And then once that's fully done, we'll do the actual jasmine rice that we need to do in the microwave. All right, it's Hello, man. Bye bye. <laughs> Where's that from? You don't know where that's from? My wife. Yeah. What? Come on, yes you do. Yes, you have seen that movie before. Stop lying. Yep. I'm gonna let you figure that out. I don't know. Yes, you have seen it. I don't know. I'm gonna add in the hash browns. That looks like cheese. No, thank you. Alright, so we're gonna add the hash browns. Throw some salt in that sucker. I am gonna throw some salt in this. You don't see the salt still there? Land. <laughs> well, that's what, that's what potatoes look like when they're cut up. They look bland. Alright, so let's mix in our hash browns into this. You sure you didn't put cheese instead? <laughs> Imagine? <laughs> no, it's not cheese. You wanna put cheese in it? Is that, what you, is that what you're trying to tell me? Alright, so we're gonna put in the last bit of our two cup olo um, olive oil. Uh, canola oil. So or vegetable oil. Ew. There we go. I just love you that now. <laughs> So oily. Alright, so now. Potatoes, I like my potatoes very crispy, so this is gonna be a challenge for me. <laughs> Wait, is. listen, not only for her, but also for our daughter, because she will like my potatoes. Alright, so I'm gonna add in the salt. And make sure you put enough to coat everything. Oh man, I dropped pineapple juice, I'm sure. You got pineapple juice? I ate pineapples. Oh, well, it's like, really, do you have pineapple juice? Are you having pineapple juice for me? There you go. Hope it's not too salty. And then give it a nice little mixed. Nice. Nice meat and potatoes. Carb on top of carb. I know. <laughs> no. You're killing me with the carbs here, buddy. Alright. Uh, next week we just do salad. No. <laughs> There's low carb versions of things that you can do, but I forgot. No. Oh, listen, what you need to do on the show is that, um, uh, what was that, the uh, tzatziki sauce you made? Oh. Oh. So this Very you easy see, to yeah, make. So you, this way you can see two things. One, you'll see a nice little gadget, and then you'll see me eat the entire tzatziki sauce, because I eat that. With and then he ends up getting bubble guts. I haven't gotten bubble guts from it. It's delicious. Listen, I've had that with curry rice yesterday. Ew. I had that actually today, dirty rice rice. Um, put in a nice little wrap, put the uh, tzatziki sauce in it on one side, flip it over you to the other side. You can actually make it at work, it's very easy to do. And it uses uh, a <laughs> dill. Uh, I dill. use fresh dill though, I don't dill. use uh, dried dill. No, no, I just wanted to show the dill. <laughs> well, the reason why I use fresh dill. Thank you. 
Hi, James. Hey, James and Jonah. Um, so yeah, so now we fixed the card issue, but now we're having connection issues. It's a CK issue. <laughs> Okay. Um, but hopefully, uh, what, what, what to do with the first step? Oh, John is Okay, so, um, I, depending on the dishes that I make, depends on whether I use fresh dill or dry dill. Dry dill, I find, gives it more of a, um, a rougher taste. When you use fresh dill, fresh dill gives it more of an earthy type of full flavor, in my opinion. That's just me. Not everybody um, may agree to that. But when you're making tzatziki sauce specifically, you should use fresh dill. The reason being is because you're putting it in a moist, I hate that word, <laughs> in a moist plate. So if you're using it, um, you would use dry dill for like, let's say, meats or um, a marinade, per se. Um, some people use don't prefer to use dry ingredients at all, um, but I it depends on what I make. Okay, so you can make soup with either fresh dill or dry dill. It really depends on you. Well, I like when you put it in the uh, pasta. Yeah, so if, that's another that, that's another thing. Like you can use the fresh dill to garnish. You can use the dry dill to, to garnish. It really depends on what your preference. Me particularly when I make the tzatziki sauce or anything Greek related. And a lot of Greek food has to deal with dill. Dill has that really distinct flavor that I particularly... I put dill in my eggs. I put dill in... Um, <laughs> I put dill in eggs. I put dill in salsa. I put dill in my pasta. Um, it is sticky sauce. Pasta. It, it really, really depends. Now, here's the thing, though. Dry dill has a longer shelf life than fresh dill. That's the difference. But if you get yourself a way to properly store the dill in the refrigerator, it makes a difference, which which, which is what Chris and I are going to be doing this weekend, is we're going to be looking into different um, containers and types of things to store fresh herbs. And the reason why is because I'm actually thinking of starting my own little herb garden on my balcony. Um, I've seen a couple of my friends, including Jana, who is very, very good. By, by the way, she, if you ever want anybody who's good with a green thumb, Jana is the one yep. that you need to look into. Uh, Jana said, James and I grow fresh what did I just dill, say? always looking for ideas on how to use it. So there you go. See there, I, I just mentioned the fact of how Jana's is very, very good when it comes to growing <laughs> um, herbs and growing plants. Like she has a green thumb. So if you're looking for someone who's really good with, um, I think it's called horticulture if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Jana, correct me if I'm wrong, it's called horticulture when you're into growing plants. I'm not 100% sure. Anyway, she has a green thumb, legitimately. She has a green thumb. She's very, very good when it comes to growing plants. Um, James said, when are we getting the fresh herbs lunch break challenge? <laughs> okay, so here's the thing when it comes to your boy over here. What are you talking about? I... He likes using dry ingredients for practically everything. No, I use... And the reason, the reason why he does that is because of portability. Um, that's, the, that's the reason why he does it. But I always tell him that, you know, depending on where you work, you can actually get to a fruit stand or a vegetable stand that has fresh herbs that you can actually cook with on your lunch break. But that is CK's preference. My preference, I prefer to use fresh herbs. I love, 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 without a doubt, the smell of fresh oregano. Oh my goodness. I And that and, that and what's the other one that I love, that whenever your dad brings it, that I just smell the bag. Um, damn it, uh, is it cilantro? No. No. Um, uh, he doesn't know science, so it. That's cilantro. Is it cilantro? No. Can I say cilantro? If anybody sense? knows sign language. <laughs> um, it's not a regular, you can say it's Um, damn, I can't remember. Parsley? Oh, see, when we get, oh, when we get back to, to flushing. <laughs> yes. Okay, um, you give up? 
No. Okay. Oh, you know what? I don't even know how to call it. Baby English. girl, give me something good. I don't know good. how to call it in English. I mean in Spanish. There's no other way of saying it in English. No, I don't know it in English. No. There's no other way of saying it than the way that you know it. Really? Baby girl, give me something good. I have no idea. You don't know what it is? Yes, you do. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Recao. Oh, see, I don't know. Okay, so if you're not familiar what recao, <laughs> so if you're not familiar what recao is, it is an it's an herb that is used in almost every single Caribbean dish that I could possibly think of. But is that recao possible? No. Sorry? No. Anyway. I like recao, so I prefer me, my personal preference, is cooking with fresh herbs. But the thing is, depending on the dish that you're cooking, depends on what fresh herb you would use. So with dill, dill looks like pine needles. Mm, yes. So, yeah, um, hold on. Okay, right, so, this is done. I'm gonna stop the oven. What is doing? Yeah, you should show them the dough. Because this, this is... <laughs> it's a big deal. <laughs> and she can say that, I can't. Okay. Because um, this, this is uh, ground dough. No, it's not ground. It's dry. It's not? No, it's not ground. Oh, it's so just regular dough? Yeah. Oh. So this is dry dough. Uh, dry dough. People on Instagram can see this. There you go. Dry dough. You go. <laughs> That's dry dill, and this is fresh dill. So fresh dill looks like... Oh, is it like that moss No, tree? it looks like... Like, it looks like, like, like a moss tree. No, it looks like pine needles. No, no, you know that tree that just whips? Weeping willow. Yeah. So... You know like that? Like it you, has a really... Look, look, look. Just, just put it in the, in the camera, in front of the camera. You can see, look. See? Yeah. So... I have to figure out how to store... Because each fresh herb has to be stored a particular way. Um... I you put gotta, this. You gotta use a tool for that. Though, I'm not 100% sure I'm gonna look it up. However, it's very flimsy, so if you look, like the needles are like really, really, really fine. I even eat it fresh. Now, when you eat fresh dill, I'm gonna tell you what it tastes like. Like dill? No! <laughs> okay, I, I can't think of any other way to explain it but how I'm gonna explain it. Okay. So, I taste a smell. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. Okay. Is that so, really what we all do? Imagine the smell of a Christmas tree. Ah, uh, like pine tree. Right. Yeah. Imagine that smell. I taste like a, that. Yeah, like a scent. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I taste the scent. I love, like I said, I love cooking with fresh herbs, but we all know all too well that depending on how you store them, and if you don't use them a lot, they go yeah, they bad go really quick. This, and it, dill is actually fairly uh, fairly cheap to, to purchase. Also, here's another tidbit for you. Um, if you guys buy garlic cloves, right, that's what it's called. Right. Um, do not take them out of the, the skin and then put them in your fridge if you're not going to use it right away. Now the reason for that is after two or three days, um, the uh, garlic clove that you put in the fridge will start to grow mold. Uh -huh. That's this why you is, keep it out. I believe parsley, if I'm not mistaken. But I thought that was the heck out one. I don't think so. No. Because you would smell it. You would automatically like you would automatically smell it. It's not. See, that's like out to us. No, it's not. That's like out. I could be corrected. That is like out. Because that, that's what my grandmother used to grow all the time. I don't know. <laughs> Someone look it up and post it on there. <laughs> you know why? Because her gal and parsley look almost, almost exactly the same. alike. Yeah. They look alike, but they taste well, is different. It, isn't parsley more like, um, it looks more like, uh, what's that, that four leaf clover type of thing? That's what this looks like. That, looks, like, that looks more like kale to me. No. Because <laughs> you know kale has that weird, yeah. like, wiggly design yeah. or whatever. No, but I don't think that's what that is, babe, to be honest with you. I really think. Well, you don't think that's gonna go? No. Anyway, I could be wrong, but that's what I use.
settings to a higher resolution. So, <laughs> here. Yeah, because so, we don't care about the resolution of the damn camera, so, just get so the yeah, so, so that's why I ended up having turning it off and the connection and a whole bunch of stuff. So hopefully maybe the next time we be good. So, it will come off later. Or... Shush! Okay. Anyway, so, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to cook up the rice that we're going to side dish this with. We got to squeeze the heel. Squeeze the heel. Squeeze the heel. <laughs> Wait, did you taste it already? Okay, it's great. Nice cream. Back with it. Then once that is done, we're good to serve. They will taste us the food. What's going on over there? Oh, that's just the butter that I'm going to add to the rice. Now you know. <laughs> I took out a certain amount just because I'm not. I was gonna do both jasmine rices, but I'm only gonna do one. And I'm, I'm gonna thinking use a of bit. making. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it. I'm thinking of making dill flavored keto bread. Ooh. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Which, by the way, he doesn't think I can pull it off, but I can make a whole keto meal in less than 20 minutes. What are the, no one said it doesn't. No. But he won't do it on this show because he likes carbs. I'm just doing whatever recipe comes to mind. That I'm just so no, you know how many times I have sent ideas to this man, and he just won't do it. You guys need to just petition with me. Help me out here. Do a bariatric show with Peter. Because he doesn't want to share the limelight. Mm. There's no, I didn't say nothing about like. Yeah, that. it's true. It's not. Yeah, it is. It's not because you're here right now. On Doesn't the matter. Yeah, it is. Uh -uh. Okay, it does. It does not. So, it does actually look like cheese. But it's hash browns. Alright, so we're gonna wait for that. It should be done in a few seconds. We'll take out the little. Well, Yes, good. I'm home early, which is a surprise because normally I'm not home this early. No, I took lunch. Okay, so you have to do a small little bowl. Take a cup of rice. Yellow rice. 
<laughs> right, so I added some butter to the rice. Can I get your dry dill, please? Why? We can add it to that rice. Because he's such a... Dill? Of a person? <laughs> Listen, we have products we can show that don't have name brands. <laughs> we can show the names. Oh, it doesn't give the same like look to it. Cause because it's not fresh. Like, it's these are, dry. These are like too small of a needle. It's dry. It's dry dill. Yeah, dry dill. I would say something, but this is a family show. <laughs> Listen, for many times I've been saying meat on the show already. That doesn't mean anything. What? Alright, there you go. Alright, so we now we have this our. <laughs> he told me to say it. <laughs> you can say that. Hi, I can't say that. Yes, you can. No, I'm not going to. What, you don't like dry dill? Oh my god. So. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to give you a little bit you of like ice. <laughs> we have the uh, butter dill rice. Butter dill rice. And then I'm gonna give you. Yeah, get some nice orange foods. That's gonna be on the Amazon list next. <laughs> we have another dish of these. Probably. All right. Give you the <coughs> salt hash browns. Then no, you let the person add the salt. I know. I wasn't gonna add it. That's why I was like, and then mm. this is gonna taste just that. This is the side. We'll create our dish in a second. The presentation. Hey Andrea, what up? <laughs> she said, oh my god, wait, apron, no shirt status? <laughs> Listen, it's too hot today to wear this. To, to wear the shirt today. Wait, why did James say popcorn? Why did he say popcorn? I don't know, there's like two popcorn things there. Oh, he's watching Oh, movie. is there for the butter? There you go. Is there for the butter? Don't mind me, I don't chew my food. I would say wow. something, but I'm not wow. going to say it. I was going to say something and I just stopped myself. No, I like to swallow it. Oh my god, hi Crystal, how you doing? Nothing wrong with a little drum slide once in a while. Oh my god. Um, so, how does the <laughs> meat and potatoes taste like? <laughs> I mean, does it taste good? Does it taste bitter? Does it taste off? Why do you always ask that things taste bitter? Uh, to make sure that it tastes There's good or bad. There's nothing that you put in this dish for it to be bitter in the first place. You didn't use vinegar. You didn't use anything citrus. Well, putting a lot of seasoning doesn't make it bitter? No. Really? No. No. You said you need like one more or something? <laughs> You're not even leaving the crumbs. You're trying to get that dill feeling. <laughs> no. No. Do not butcher a classic. Do yourself that favor and just don't. <laughs> um. Wait, what happened? Uh, Melissa has a top on. Never topless. <laughs> Wait. Was I ever topless? And said, "Shut it." Wait, Was I ever topless during one of your shows? I don't know. I'm confused. What just happened? Wait, are we supposed to be doing the naked segment? What's going on here? You want to do naked cooking? That's after hours. Hey, what up? What? What? <laughs> you just said. I said I'm nothing. Um, our nephew Drew is on. Hey, Andrew. <laughs> I've never been topless that I know of. Yo, James put up a whole bunch of popcorn. That's because he's watching a movie. Oh. <laughs> um, Andrea said, missing doobie right. <laughs> you, that doobie topless? 
What? No! What? No! <laughs> and turn it off the head. Well, I can say about this that this is genuinely something out of all the dishes that you've done. Oh. No, 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 no. Oh. Um, out of all the dishes that you've done, I could say this legitimately could be one of those very few that could be cooked in the office because you don't really need a stove like he's been using for the past couple of oh. weeks, thanks to the infamous COVID. <laughs> um, I can tell you that um, for me, it's very filling, only because you have the potatoes and the rice. Um, I would even go so far as probably putting a vegetable in there, probably. Maybe a carrot. Oh, so now that you're here, because I was trying to ask somebody before. But before that, Andrea said, wait, CK has no shirt. What are we making here? <laughs> Why does he have no shirt on? <laughs> I do have a shirt. No, on, on camera, it looks like you're topless. I have a shirt on, okay? I'm not naked. That's for after hours. He's naked. Hey! Now what? Don't show that on screen. I'm shy. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> what happened? I don't know what happened. You said you had to ask oh, me a so question. Is, uh, so I had a few people ask me this because I, I, I couldn't answer it for them. Is green onion? I answered that and you just didn't look at my answer no, way back. I can't see stuff on uh, Well, during the last. So like, here's the question again. Is green onions the same as scallion onions? They are. They are? Green onions are scallions. So why do they give it to different names? I don't know. I could be wrong. Ask the chef. I'm confused. I'm not the chef. I'm the survivor chef. So, to my understanding, <laughs> green onions and scallions are the same thing. So, it is lunch break delicious. Ooh. Um. I would have gone so far as adding a carrot just to add a little bit of sweetness and, to it. And I would have added the carrot, but there's an individual. Right. So the way I like my dishes is sweet and savory. Some people don't like them sweet and savory. I'm a sweet and savory type of girl. Depends. Like I have to have sweet and savory or sweet and spicy. I can't have like all three at the same time. It's just it's just too much to process. But um that is true. Yeah, it is. So I definitely would give this a thumb up, um, and I would recommend this as a survival meal because if you have rice and you have chopped meat and you have potatoes in your house, you have a meal every day of the week. So definitely um, would recommend it. Um, I would, like I said, would have added carrots in it, not corn. No. No, I would have added carrots only because carrots give that like that crunch type of thing to it. Like I'm, I'm also a texture type of person where I don't like, I don't like soggy. Yeah. Like because it's like when they make um, meatball parmesan, and then I just... can't, you know, the bread. I can't, I can't do it. I, I usually do breadless. Um, hey, Thea. I usually do breadless meatball yeah. subs only because I don't like when the bread gets soggy. I usually ask them to put the bread to the side and I eat the meatball separate because I just can't, it's just too much for me. I, do, I don't like it. I like things crunchy and like, I like my potatoes crunchy. Chris yeah. already knows, like when I go to the, the when I used to, um, go to the diner, I used to get my food last if I ordered french fries because I like my french fries like really well done. He doesn't, he likes them a little soft. I don't. Yes. I like no. Only because uh, to me it's more like close to the fact that there's almost like nothing inside it. Like well, then I see with me with my toast. I like my toast a little darker. He likes his toast a little lighter. Opposites attract people. There you go. But um, definitely would recommend it. It is a survival meal without a doubt. I definitely <laughs> that would. Is. Yeah. Um, carrots. Mm, yeah, just carrots. I wouldn't add peas or <laughs> corn. So lunch break delicious, guys. And then the garnish. Why? That's not supposed to. Oh, I'm gonna eat it. It's good. We have to do this ending because I'm melting. <laughs> the front? That's from the Wizard of Oz. No, the original is from The Wizard of Oz. Alright. Don't mess with the Zohan. <laughs> 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 
sé. <laughs> you still don't remember the other one? Are you serious? No, seriously. You still don't remember? Mustache, thick hair. Hey, hey. Green. Nah. That's good. <laughs> You know, he's always saying, bye bye. You're wise. Hey, Amy. Hi, you guys. I got a new job and I haven't been able to tune in. That's, That's okay. That's Congratulations yes. on the new job, Amy. Congrats. Yes, congrats. Yes, definitely. Oh, look, it ended already. It must have been an hour. That's all right. So, this was the last piece I was trying to show you guys. So, this was our meat and potatoes with our butter dill rice. Jasmine. See, nice little presentation right there. So, yes. So, you guys got to see all that. So, thank you once again, everybody, for joining in on Lunch Break. You guys got to watch us do... It's six different takes. <laughs> the meat, put, meat and potatoes, which is made with ground turkey. I was going to say ground beef. Um, hash browns for the potato portion. And then all that other ingredients that, you know, when you look back at this episode later on, just make sure you write it down. Um... And then we sided that with some jasmine rice that we buttered up and put some dough in it. And then at one point, uh, my wife is going to be doing some tzatziki sauce, and then that, the whole world would be nice. With some, uh, what kind of cheese? Because everything is better with... <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know what it is, but for some reason when she says that word, it just makes me crack laughing. I don't know why, but it's like, it, it's not the same if she writes it. Like, she has to physically say it for me to, like, laugh, you know? And it, it's, it's only when, you know, everything is better with... I don't know why that is. I guess everybody has that one word that just makes it go crazy. That's I would say. I, oh, I was about to say something, but I'm so bad I can't say it. Oh, uh, Amy said, thank you, girl. Uh, I've been doing keto, but I'm still watching and do a lazy day. Oh, girl, please. I do dirty keto. I don't do clean <laughs> keto at all. Is that almost like the dirty recipe thing? No. Know? No. I don't. I do dirty keto, and I do very lazy keto, but um, I was going to say something, but I'm not. I, I, I'm trying to retract what oh. I was going to say. But um, I'm going to retract it. <laughs> so, thank you, everybody, for tuning in. I know the these videos have been in like in different segments, but it'll be chopped up later on and put together, and then you guys can just watch it all in one one take. Uh, but I do appreciate you guys coming here and watching Lunch Break. Um, go to our uh, IMDb, look up the word Lunch Break, give us a rating for one to ten, listen, give us whatever you want. Um, <laughs> go to our, our social Get media. Of boob in there. <laughs> go to our social media pages and share the love to the world. No, he's not the naked chef today. <laughs> you know, I know the person who does that do that. That does do that. Yes, there you go. Um, I actually met him once, and he has a few books. Man, oh, man, I can get him on the show. I don't know, I gotta check. Um, but yeah, so. <laughs> He's not that bad looking, too, though. God dang it. No, I can't. <laughs> that just made it not even, no. So, thank you guys once again for watching Lunch Break with my darling wife over here. Um, I was CK. You was? <laughs> I was CK, the host. <laughs> I'm just hungry right now. She wants to go take a shower. So thank you once again for joining us. Like, comment, and share. Tell the world that you guys love us and, and let them know we exist. You know, come on with us. We don't exist without you guys. Oh, and thank you everybody to our fellow essential workers, our nurses, our delivery men, ourselves, um, everybody in the world, firemen, police, everything, whatever, for doing what they must during this time. And thank you guys for doing what you got to do too. So thank you once again, and as always, don't settle for less. Feta. <laughs> but make it your best. I'll catch you guys later. Bye. <laughs>